I wanted to do an overview of what I did yesterday because I had pretty bad camera angles. Um, so, to back up a little bit, um, you had three bolts that hold in the coil. There were two bolts, sorry, three bolts that held in the coil. And then this bolt and this bolt held on the shroud, which came onto these rubber grommets, these rubber grommets. And uh, so the coil had the uh, solenoid sitting on top. It took all that wiring off. And the, uh, the front plate had the switch box. So there was a green wire, there was a black wire, blue wire, and then a white wire. And the coil came into the switch box uh, by a green and then there was a screw that was the ground. And then uh, to get this out, it was a pretty, was, you know, a lot of dried up oil. So the pulley, I had to pry on it. I put, got it off. Also took off the uh, alternator. I'm sorry, this is from the alternator. Alternator stator. Um, and it supplies two leads to the old style um, rectifier and that was this guy so here's the distributor you can see all the oil is old oil it's pretty bad <clears throat> you know so that had to be cleaned up basically there's a rotor in here and that needs to be looked at and uh, I mean it's functioning properly but there's two transformers with wire that is wrapped around them and it acts similarly to the stator in that when this turns clockwise then there's a magnet on on the uh, shaft of this so as it passes the coil it induces and I, I don't know what the voltage is, but it's probably low and low amperage. Um, but it sends a signal. And, and it, this would be, in this case, an AC signal would be sent to the switch box. And essentially lets the switch box know at when, this, when the engine's rotating, it's... Um, the fire schedule is going to be lined up from the key to the flywheel. So that's how the crankshaft and this distributor line up. In a car, it's just a shaft that goes down and locks into, um, I don't know if they would be, I guess that's the flywheel. But um, in this case, it's a belt. Some cars have a timing belt. Same thing. It's a timing belt. And then, you know, these wires that are coming out of these old ones, they're almost always like in bad shape. Black and red seem to be in pretty good shape. White is really bad. But there's plenty here to go inside. Open this up. You can take the two magnets out and you can solder new line right onto them um, and you know get some heavy duty 12 gauge or not 12 gauge um, yeah I guess 12 gauge would probably be fine and you can wire that back up your switch box and it'd be great I just happen to have another one that I've already done that with so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put this one on the end so I've already got this one is all set up and ready to go. So it's just be a matter of uh, you know doing that. Last thing was in order to get that off, I had to take these two bolts out. This top one holds the bracket for the spark plugs, and this bottom one 
is the bracket for the lower two spark plugs. Fortunately, this bolt, it broke on me. And with these engines, it's common. Probably should heat them up. Just take a butane torch, heat these up. But I'll get the power head out of the out of here and then we can do that later so my next thing to do is I'm going to take the carburetors off and it's real simple it's just this bolt and there's a bolt behind it so you kind of got to take uh, your tubing off I would just go out I'm gonna probably just take it off and I'll replace it um, but there's a bolt here and then back behind this guy is a little bolt, and you just have to get those two bolts from this side. So like on this one, um, the bolt is right behind where, you know, our fuel line is. So I just need to uh, loosen these top two bolts right here, these little ones, and this will turn, and you can loosen this as well and then it'll turn out and allow me to get to those so theoretically I could and I probably will when I get it on the bench is when I'll cut that piece of pipe off but then the bottom part there's a fuel line that comes up to here so I have to disconnect that and then I can pull these off and then once I get those off I'm going to tilt it up and then I'm going to take the lower unit off today. So, that's what I got planned. Alright. Should be a half inch. That's half. Wow. Yeah, you can see somebody... Sweet. Wow. So that's not good. Somebody, somebody tweaked him. Let's see if we can get something close. Loosen it. That turns them out of the way. Where you can get to them. So now, get to this guy and that guy that's down there. Thank <laughs> you. 
хорошо. Let's take those guys and put them in the bag. Actually, I'm going to put them back on that. Yeah, I'm going to have some gasket material. See, this one didn't have the automatic choke arm. I've got an automatic choke electric choke that I can uh, I can uh, put on them so I can't wait to open these up and see what they look like anyway I'll go order a couple rebuild kits for them and I'll rebuild these guys these guys I got some videos on uh, on doing that already online but uh, now I can tilt this guy up maybe oh yeah that was the bolts for the carburetor Knock all four of them off. I don't care. I got more. Uh, and then, you know, of course, where did the other one go? 